so long silent movies the quiet dances on the screen so long to burning slowly smelling hello you guys and welcome to today's productive vlog so we have a lot of things we need to get done today so you guys already seen I got ready, did a little something something because I have to run a bunch of errands and I have to film today. So the first thing that I'm gonna get done, I just got done eating breakfast, is do a script for one of my videos. So my video that's going live next week, I need to do a script for so that I can film it later. And I kind of already did most of the script. So we're gonna sit down and do the script and then I have to go run errands and I think we're gonna grab some coffee. So I'm excited about that. <laughs> Guys, so I just finished writing my script. It took me a lot longer than I wanted it to take me. So I'm going to go get dressed because right now I'm in like comfy clothes, as you could see. But I need to go get dressed and then I am going to go run an errand because I need to pick up my prescription, my medication. So I need to go do that. We're on the military post. Then we're going to come back and get some more work done. And then I think I'm going to go to Trader Joe's so I can do like a Trader Joe's haul for you guys. But we haven't been since like before the Texas snowstorm. So it's been probably like two months since we've been to Trader Joe's and I miss it. So I think we're also going to go there and I think I'm going to stop at Starbucks. So let's go get dressed and then we can go get the medication. Okay, you guys, so this is the fit today. I've just got my jacket. <gasps> I've got a black tee underneath. And then my Gymshark shorts, like always, literally 90% of the time, I'm wearing these shorts or I'm wearing joggers. So now we are going to go. The Hubs is still sleeping though. He must have came to bed super late because he was playing the game. So I couldn't show you guys my nice mirror. So this is what you get. <laughs> so I think we're the same kid. It's just circles in my head. I've been running after something I know money couldn't help. Got the mood. Come on, man. Come on, man. So now we're going to go to Starbucks. It's also like a beautiful day out. I have to show you guys. It's just so perfect. Not a cloud in the sky. It is a little bit hot. Like I would say, like 78, 80, but. Still a beautiful day. So gonna go get some Starbucks, then we'll go home and get a bunch of work done there. And then we will do Trader Joe's. Normally I like to do Trader Joe's more towards like nighttime after rush hour. Cause in order to get to Trader Joe's, I have to drive like, I would say like 28 minutes, but it is on the roads where rush hour is at. Like whenever it hits like four o'clock all the way till six, it's usually like horrible to drive on those roads. So I think we'll go later so we can go home and film and stuff. Yes, that is the game plan. Let's do it. Starbucks, can I help you today? Could I get a grande ice white mocha with no whipped cream? And instead, could I sub that for vanilla sweet cream foam? Yes, but it will still charge you a dollar. Oh, that's okay? fine. Yeah. Okay, cool. Anything else? That would be all. Mm. Yes, baby. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is seriously like... The best drink ever, you guys. You have to try it. If you haven't already, all of my friends who try, oh my gosh, this line is so long for Starbucks now. It's all the way, all the way to the street. Um, but all of my friends who try this drink of mine become obsessed with it. Like I haven't had a friend that dislikes this drink. It's really sweet though. So I guess if you don't like sweet drinks, I wouldn't recommend it. Okay, you guys, so just got home. It is 2.19. So I need to film a YouTube video. This is also the fit for the day. Try to show you guys before in the other mirror. I always really love long socks too. Let me know if you guys are like me. Do you guys like to wear long socks or shorter socks? I don't know, long socks are my fave. I also need to whiten these shoes. If you have whitening tips, let me know. I would love my shoes to actually be white. So I'm going to film right now and I'm gonna have to like set up my little space. I already put the computer there and stuff. And then I usually put my camera on this tripod because it goes perfectly right here to where it just films me in this little section. So we're gonna get filming that video done. I may have to do like one school assignment, but we'll see. We'll see where we're at after we get this one video done. 
done. Okay, you guys, so I just finished filming. It's a little late. Well, I guess I finished filming like 30 minutes ago, but I then logged into my computer and I do have one more school assignment for this week. It is due on Sunday, but I thought I'd really have nothing else to do but watch TV right now. But I thought, why not? Instead of just like going to watch TV, let's be productive and do the last assignment of the week. So I essentially have to write a mini little paper on whatever topic of my choice that we learned these past two weeks in class. So I think I'm gonna write about gender role stereotypes, which is very interesting. I'm taking a psychology of gender course and it's been like such a cool class to take. I'm going to do a paper on that, but I have to do a little bit of research first. So that's gonna be what we do. I think I'm gonna move to my desk too for more back support. And I drank all my coffee, it's all gone. So let's move over there. Okay, you guys, I have officially finished the last assignment of the week. So you guys know I always cross it off. And then this is for my other class that starts next week. I already did these, which was this week's assignments. Then this will start on March 28th. So I'm done -zo. I actually wrote a lot more than we needed to. It's like insane because he says, oh, you only need to write 300 words, but the questions that he needs us to answer take like triple the amount of words. So I ended up writing like 800. <laughs> so he's gonna probably look at my stuff and be like, girl, you didn't need to write that much, but. I did because I wouldn't have gotten my point across if I didn't. So it is 5.13, it took me longer than expected because I had to read like this huge article to support my stuff or support like my thoughts essentially. So I think I'm going to relax for a little bit. I feel like I've been go, 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 go. So I think I'm gonna go eat something. My Home Chef box just got here. If you guys don't know, I'm obsessed with Home Chef. Home Chef is a delivery service that like delivers meals to your house. So I always get about three to five meals a week. This week I think I got five meals because they looked really good. So I chose like five different meals. So they got here today and I always use them for dinner because I feel like for breakfast, I could eat like the same thing every day. Love breakfast. I always have time to cook breakfast. Lunch, I usually like to meal prep. And then dinners is where I tend to not wanna cook. I don't like to think of ideas to cook. So Home Chef will essentially send you a recipe card and all of the ingredients you need. So I'm gonna go grab that box cause it's outside and it's hot outside. So my food needs to be indoors. Let's go snag the box. I guess I'll show you guys what comes in my Home Chef box this week. It's definitely all meals that are like different. Very, very different meals that I was like, okay, I've never tried these kind of things before. So I might as well attempt them now. So let me go grab that and I'll show you guys. I think I also need to change out, yeah, a battery. And I also had this cozy blanket because I was freezing in my shorts, but I need to change out the battery for the camera too because my camera's about to die, die. Shadows of the morning are crawling on my floor When I just want to lie here, nothing less, nothing more Okay, you guys, so these are the meals that we got. So first we have the fire roasted beef and poblano chili. Then we have roasted salmon and ginger scallion sauce. So I really want to eat this tonight. I think this is what I'll make. It also says it only takes about 25 to 35 minutes to cook. And then on the back, all of these have its own recipe with photos, which luckily they have the photos with it because that's a must for me. Then I got cheesy salsa chicken with chipotle ranch broccoli, a very simple, easy meal. And then Salisbury meatloaf with mashed potatoes and peas. So then this is essentially how it comes. You get all of your meats in one bag that you go in the freezer and then each different meal comes in these containers. And I love these like ready to eat ones. They come with a dish for you to cook it in. This looks like it had something explode though, like the salsa. This looks like the salsa one 
and it looks like the pesto or something exploded. So I think I'm gonna take a second to wash like these vegetables really quickly and take this out of this bag and put it in another Ziploc bag. Luckily everything else is in like containers so it doesn't really matter that something low key exploded in here. But yeah, that's essentially the home chef. I think this is the one I'll keep out today. The salmon and stuff. It says it has wheat. I wonder what in here has wheat in it. Cause I can't have wheat. Oh, the teriyaki sauce. So I'll probably just put the teriyaki sauce on Christian's food, but not mine. Yeah, I think this one. So let's put away this stuff. I know, but I hid his B-A-L-L -L from him. I can't say the word or else he goes crazy. Um, I hid it from him so I could talk for a second. Yeah, but I know. Do you smell it? Can you smell everything? Okay. If everyone else has a dog, they probably go crazy when I throw the ball. Yeah, bud. <laughs> okay, you guys. So the last time I talked to you, I think I was taking a break. I didn't really take a break. <laughs> I've been sitting at my office desk doing rebranding stuff. So this is the week I've actually taken a week off of YouTube kind of to just mentally take a break. Also, my dog's going crazy in the background. Don't worry about him. One, to mentally take a break, but two, because I wanted to rebrand. I wanted to do new thumbnails, new fonts for my thumbnails, and just get a new style, new channel art is gonna be going up. It'll already be up when this video goes live. I change, or I'm changing my profile photo on YouTube and doing all of that. And just now, I think I finally finished the fonts that I want to change and everything. And let me tell you guys, today's Friday. I have spent five days looking at a million different type of fonts. Like I felt like at one point I was just looking at things like the same things over and over and I couldn't figure out what font I wanted. So I finally came down to two fonts that I wanted. So I asked my like Patreon members. So this is kind of like what stuff's gonna look like. So I'm using the app Pick Monkey. So I found this font, help of my friend Isabella. I will link her channel down below. She actually helps people like rebrand and things like that. She helped find all of this with me. So this is going to be the new font, the cursive font that I have. And then this is the just normal. I wanted like a normal font that was readable. It was bold. It was bubbly and like cute. So that's like one example. And then here you guys know along with lifestyle videos I also educate about multi-level marketing and scams because it's very important. So this is how that font would look on my anti MLM videos or scam videos and then this is what it would look like and let's go. And then here's like another version with the college and the cursive. I love this font. I fell in love with this when Isabella found it and then this is what my font would look like this has taken me <laughs> I'm telling you guys five days to find like fonts that I really vibed with and that I really wanted to be my brand because when you're thinking of rebranding or branding in general you want to have a certain color scheme you want to have certain fonts that really speak to you and you want that to also go all together so whenever it's on your channel it looks cohesive and essentially is your brand when people see that font you want them to think of you you want your color scheme for people to think of you when they see that color scheme so I'm working like really hard on all of this stuff I was gonna vlog branding like my branding stuff but I didn't end up doing it because every time I was doing rebranding stuff like looking at fonts and stuff I was like in bed I looked a mess and in my bedroom it's like really dark I actually just purchased new nightstands and everything like that and then I'm gonna get like lamps and stuff so once I get my actual bedroom renovated and stuff the way I want it I'll be able to do more vlogging in the room I just normally don't because the hubs is in there and then it's generally super super dark but that's what I've been doing the past couple of hours. It is now 7.13. It is late and I wanna go to Trader Joe's. So it closes at nine, but I just checked and the traffic is still hasn't let up yet. So I think we're gonna leave at eight. So 8 p.m., we'll get there at like 8.30 and then we'll have 30 minutes to shop and then we'll come back. So I'm gonna go cook dinner. I'm gonna make the salmon dinner with the green beans. I may show you guys what it looks like afterwards. Oh wait, was it with green beans or asparagus? One or the other. I may show you guys what it looks like afterwards, but I normally don't show food because I just don't try and make my food look pretty. Let me know down below if you're someone who makes your food look all pretty. I just don't. I don't really care to. So I always put stuff on like paper plates, which I know is bad for the environment. I know. But 
It never looks pretty, so I never show you guys. But if you want me to show you more often, let me know and I will. So yeah, that's about all. That's what I've been doing is just looking at fonts and testing them out on different type of thumbnails and making sure it really speaks to me and my branding. Let me know down below. What did you get accomplished today? And what day is it that you're watching this video? What are your plans today? I want to know. Hey, you guys, so it is already 7.40. So I'm not going to be able to cook the dinner until we get back from Trader Joe's. So I kind of just prepped everything, like cut that, cut the garlic, cut the little onion thingies, cut the sweet potato, and I have everything laid out. I even have the pans over there ready to go when we get back. And I'm just going to do that. So I prepped everything, and then I just have to cook it. When we get back, so the hub is going to finish his game that he's in right now, and then we're going to go to Trader Joe's. This is what I love about vlogging because you can kind of see how someone's day changes. Like someone has a plan for their day, but then nothing ever goes as it seems, you know? So like for me, I had a different plan for the time I was gonna go to Trader Joe's that we were gonna be done. We were gonna be, you know, full. Our tummies were gonna be good. The food was gonna be cooked. We would get back and just be able to like lay in bed until life hits you. Okay, you guys, we just got back from Trader Joe's. I figured the hubs would get more stuff, but he definitely did not. So I seen some new things today that I was excited for. So one, I've been like obsessed with muffins and stuff lately. Oh, I didn't check the expiration date. They expire in like two days. Well, I got cinnamon coffee cake muffins which sounded really delish. Then I have my favorite gluten-free everything, bagels. These are the best. Then I got, oh no, the hubby got pears. He grabbed me apples. And then I got avocado. I just got the four pack. They're not like ready or anything yet, but I've been really craving like some avocado. And then I got three things of this marinara sauce. So I've been obsessed with pasta lately. I don't know why I've been wanting it for like lunch and dinner every single day. So I am not really in the mood ever to make like homemade sauce, which my mom would totally like kill me if she knew that I was always eating sauce out of a container. But I got three of these. These are the best sauces in my opinion, from Trader Joe's. So I got three. Then I'm always jealous of the hubs because he always gets this bread, but he gets it like not gluten-free. I didn't check the expiration date on this either. I know my mom says if you freeze bread, like you can keep it for longer. I just have to defrost it. Well, that stinks. So it's the brioche, brioche, brioche. I don't know how to pronounce it, bread, which goes bad in freaking two days or three days. I'm actually really mad about that. Um, then I have Brussels sprouts. Oh, the hubs did get more stuff. He got the meatless breakfast patties. He got his fruit bars. He's really obsessed with these. Then I got this. It's everything but the bagel Greek style yogurt dip. This is the best two put on the everything but the bagel bagels. So definitely recommend this. I only got one and luckily this stays good for like a whole month. I got a big thing of strawberries because these were the ones that looked really good. And then hash browns. These are my favorite hash browns. They're just like the Trader Joe's brand. So we got two of them. So that is essentially everything that we got i'm so mad about this expiring because it's crazy when we were in the store i checked this expiration date but i didn't check this one because i was so excited that i seen that they had this bread with the gluten free so maybe i will like freeze half the bread or something i'll call my mom and ask her i think that you can freeze bread and then this stinks because i'll probably start eating it tomorrow but then it will expire unless i freeze these muffins too which i do already freeze my normal gluten-free ones because i have to like the actual box makes me so a very short and small haul but this is what i've been craving avocado on bread with like eggs i don't know why that i have but this isn't even gonna last me long so maybe i'll go back to trader joe's sometime this upcoming week and snag like just bread or something more bread and more of these 
that is essentially the Trader Joe's haul. So now I'm going to actually cook dinner. It is late, it is already nine o'clock when we got back. So I'm going to make this, I already have the oven prepping. I just have to season all this stuff. Like this stuff isn't seasoned or anything yet. So I will see you guys when I'm done making dinner. Okay, you guys, the food is done. I actually, for the sweet potatoes, put it on broil for two minutes and some of them came out like this. I don't taste burnt, but that is the dinner. Salmon, green beans, and a couple burnt pieces of sweet potato from broiling. So that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed a productive day in my life. Don't forget to leave a comment down below what you enjoyed most about this video or if you had a productive day. That's what I wanna know. Did you have a productive day with me? And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I think I'm gonna start doing weekly vlogs so you guys will be seeing a lot more vlogs on my channel. And yeah, that's all. See you next time. Bye. You wanna say bye? Wanna say bye? Yeah.